welcome to Learning Mold. Today we are thinking about mental maths for kids. I'm really focusing on that practical aspect. We're going to make a little math resource called a maths questionnaire based on little origami folded piece of paper and it is a really fun activity both for you to enjoy making with your child and then to enjoy using. So I'm just going to show you first of all how to make it and then we'll um, think about the mathematical aspect of it. So Aaron, I'm going to show you and help me because you're great at helping, aren't you? Yeah. So all you really need is a pencil. Um, you might want some colouring pencils if you want to add colour to it. Um, a pair of scissors and an A4 piece of paper, blank paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to fold um, this up into a triangle just to get a square. If you already have a square piece of paper, that's perfect. You don't need to do this step. So if you just fold that up like that, um, it means you get a nice little square there and you just cut off your excess rectangle and cut that off and then it's just a matter of folding it it's actually really really easy so you've got your little guidelines there so you're folding into your middle point mm -hmm. okay so i'm going to do two and then aaron you can do two to help me and you're just folding in little triangles into your center point if you want you can actually measure your center point if you want to make it really exact so aaron do you want to fold the next pieces in mm. Okay, good job. Line that up. And again, if you do want to make it into a measuring activity, um, that is a really good way of actually measuring um, centre points and things, and that um, can add another little um, mathematical aspect to it. Lovely, good, and we just push those down so nice and folded. Okay, so what you can see is we've got our four triangles folded in, and we're just going to flip it over to the other side, and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So again, really simple, folding into that little centre point again. So I'll do two, and Aaron, you do the other two for me. Okay, do you think you can do the other side? Lovely, that's beautiful. Good, and just press it down, really nice fold there. And now the And now the other side. Beautiful. So you will end up with something that looks like um, this. And then what you'll be wanting to do is you just fold it in half, just to get that movement in there, and fold it in half on the other way, on the other side and then you end up with something that you can actually just pop your fingers into and then you can move it about. So it's like a little question um, asking device. So basically then how would you use this for um, maths? So this is one I've made earlier and I've already actually started putting my things on there. So I've decided that I want to focus on shapes and numbers. You can focus on colors, you can focus on the actual written words for the numbers. You can focus on visual representation for the numbers, just depending on the child's level and what you want to focus on. Um, so I've actually got shapes on here. I've got the actual shape drawn, I've got the word, and I've actually got numbers as well. So um, we can choose. So Aaron's going to show us how to use it, hopefully. Okay. Um, we've also got questions in here. And these are um, the little questions that you want your child to be asking you, asking each other, and they can work in partners with this as well. And you can make the questions as difficult or as easy as you like, depending on what your child's learning. Um, Aaron is um, very strong in his mental maths, so I would be asking him quite a wide range of questions, focusing on the different operations, so there will be multiplication in there, division, addition and subtraction, and really ones that maybe just get him thinking that little bit more about numbers, so instead of just those straightforward questions, but it's entirely up to you if your child's focusing on number bonds to 10, have all the number bonds to 10 in there, if your child's focusing on their times tables times tables questions. So just for some examples of questions I've put in here, so I've got um, name four even numbers under 10 mm -hmm. or less than 10. So again, developing all that lovely mathematical language. Uh, what is two times two? Easy. <laughs> it's easy for you. And my number has three tens and one unit. What is my number? This is the beauty of this. You can actually get your child to make ones for their friends, uh, for their brothers or sisters at home, or even for you. Um, and the thing is, they actually need to know the answer because you have to fill in the answer on the back so that they are actually focusing on questions that they can answer. So Aaron, I'm gonna ask you to give me two more questions for this. Okay. So what are you gonna hmm. tell me? What do you think would be good? A very challenging one, but not too hard, no. <laughs> what do you think? 
what is 40 minus, what is 40 minus 23? 40 minus 23 equals, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so what you need to do now is in your head, you need to work that out and you need to tell me the answer. Because you have to know the answer, because you have to put the answer in the inside of the booklet so that you can check if the person's correct or not. 17. <gasps> right, tell me how you got that answer. Um, I just thinking, tw what, 23 plus what equals 40? Oh, so you reversed it around, and then how did you do that? Did you um, count on? No, I just, I just trying to work out which, which number could fit in to make a 10. Ah, oh, so you added your 10, so you did 23 plus 10, which is what? Um, 33. And then did you add in what? Seven. Yeah, good boy. And again, you get that lovely, rich vocabulary, that lovely discussion, actually asking your child, how do you get to that answer? How did you find that? Thinking about the different methods and actually really seeing how they're thinking mentally and thinking, seeing that process that they're working through. Okay, right, give me one more. Hmm. I have 100. Yes. Three, um, tens and four units so 100 three tens and what four units four units okay what's my number yeah right you can write it in there so i don't see the answer this time and again challenge your child have fun with them get them to make questions that you can answer or again someone else in the family or the house can answer and I really enjoy having that little bit of interaction with them as well. Okay, so you ready? I'm gonna do it on you first and then you can do it on me, okay, you ready? Okay, so this is how it works. So you place your fingers in here. Yeah. So that it makes um, like a little holder and you're going like this basically to um, show how to work it. So I'm gonna ask Aaron to make a choice. Um, I'm gonna ask Aaron to choose a number. Four. Four. And then you count four. One, two, three, four. Okay, choose a question. Hmm. Okay. Ugh. What is two times two? Four. four. Let me check. Yay! You're correct, it's right. It's exact same as two plus. It is the exact same as 2 plus 2 and again that lovely discussion where they're actually relating it to other operations. Beautiful. Right Aaron, do you want to have a turn? Let me ask okay. me a question. Now, not too hard this time. I want an easy okay. question. Well, I know you know a lot. Oh, well, you know I know a lot. Okay. No. Let's see. You have no. to ask me what I want first of all. Um, choose a number. Um, two. One, two. Um this question. Name four even numbers under ten. Okay. Um, two, four, six, eight. Am I correct or two, not? Two, four, six, eight. Correct or not? You are. Okay, so again, just a really nice way of interacting. And again, you can focus on any mathematical concept that you like with this. Allow your child to make their own and just have really lots of fun with it and loads of nice discussion.